Hi, 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 everybody. Um, I'm telling you, I was looking for my makeup bag so I could put on some lipstick. I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. it I guess it's just lost, so I'm not going to put any lipstick on. I, actually, I was not doing anything. I'm going to be talking a little bit loud because I'm just talking over the air conditioner. I can't be turning that doggone thing off because it's hot. And this is Florida, and I'm old. So anyway, if you're new here, please excuse me. Maybe you need to pass right on to the new, a uh, new channel because this one here doesn't make any sense. I was in the middle of um, working on this little dolly. You've seen me make these. You've seen me make a bunch of these. And but um, and then I think, well, I shouldn't make another video until I um start on something new but I haven't started on anything new so I figured I would just stop in and say howdy howdy and how are ya and so so I'll just stitch on this here doll and chat and let you know how things are going around the homestead here which everything around this homestead is going good there is no complaints whatsoever and so well there might be a one or two, but yay, who cares? But, um, one of the things is I don't know what I did with my makeup bag. If that isn't just funny. So today I was, well, I started sewing the edge of this here for a pocket on one of my bags. But then the needle, I got to right here, and the needle, uh, one of the needles on my serger broke. So did I feel like putting in a new needle? No. So I just do this right here. Just this, it can sit there and look pretty till I decide to change the needle. So instead, I figured I'll pick this little apparatus up and sew a few more patches on this little dolly. Because she's going to be a gardening dolly. So she's going to end up with like green hair too. Well, you know what I might do? I might put green hair, but I might do like, um, like highlights of yellow, orange, yellow and orange. Yeah, that's my, what I might do is highlights of yellow and orange. And so that would be good. That would make her just beautiful. And so anyhow, anyhow, I'm going to help everybody. Oh, and then, my husband has used this here cup for coffee for, I don't know how long. But the handle broke off, and it's metal. And so he wonders, see how you can see the spots right there where it glues on? So I'm going to, I said, yeah, I'll give it a shot, but I didn't give it a shot yet. Maybe I'll give it a shot later tonight or tomorrow, I don't know. But um, I think E6000 glue will glue this handle back on. Because he's used this cup till... It's a sun wheel cup. Because ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it except the handle came off. It's not broke off. It just come loose. You know, it's like not like broken. So hopefully the E6000 will glue that handle back on. And I'll have that taken care of. We might do that later on tonight, or we might do that tomorrow. And so, I had a lot planned to do today, but I got none of it done. I just figured I'd finish what I was doing yesterday, and um, because it wasn't finished. What was I doing yesterday? Nothing. I finished today doing nothing. And so... But I just like to stitch, you know. I like to just sit here with a needle and stitch. I've been watching one of my most favorite Timu haulers. Do you like to watch Timu? Well, I haul from Timu. Well, I shop from Timu. But I, and and then I guess I haul it in the house. Well, Papa hauls it in the house from the mailbox. And so, and I like that. And that's nice. And, um... But now, today I got an email from them Timu people, 
and they wonder if I'd want to hang out with them or something. They didn't say hang out. They said something. And, and then I said, well, hey, why not? I wonder, I don't know how it will work, but they might send me free stuff, I don't know. And so, there's a bunch of Timu haulers out there. And I like to watch them. Some of them I don't like to watch because they're a little bit too bland. Bland people get on my nerves. I'm not going to tell you who's bland. I'm going to tell you who I like the best. I'm telling you. My very favorite Timu hauler that calls Timu. She buys a lot of Timu. I just love her. I think I would adopt her for my own child if I was young enough to still adopt people. But and her name is Erin and she's over there at Hey everybody. So if you're if you're looking for her channel, you go Hey everybody and you'll find her H E Y Y Y everybody. And she is so funny and she buys silly things. And um she doesn't know why she's buying them. She just does. Sometimes Timu sponsors her videos and sometimes she just has so much fun she just sponsors her own. And I watch her and I just love her. But I'm very jealous because as much as I have ordered from Timu, I have never gotten one of them big fancy frosted Timu bags. And she gets a bunch of them. Sometimes she even gets them with nothing in them. They just stuff them in her order. I get so jealous, I'm telling you, because I say, why didn't I get one of them bags? And so, but, so now we'll wait for an email to come back from the Timu people. And to see exactly what they're talking about, if I want to cooperate. It's not cooperate. Communicate. No, that's not it either. It's another different word than that. I don't, they say they watch my videos, but I don't think they really do. Because if they did, they would not want to come back again. Although, you know, I've had a lot of people that comes back. I don't know why. There must be some people that are just bored with life and they come back and see me again. I appreciate that though, you know. I appreciate. I appreciate it more than I appreciate ice cream. I'm telling you. You guys are more valuable than ice cream. And ice cream is value. Well, I haven't eaten ice cream in a while because it makes me like cough but I can eat sherbet and I do eat like that little bits at a time not a lot bits little bits but um since my daughter has me on this starvate well it's not a starvation diet she doesn't have me on a diet at all but she's got this water coming off of me I'm telling you I can't believe how much less I weigh now just by doing the leg crunches. I mean, they're they're like these things. They're like sleeves you put on your legs, and then you got this little remote control thing that you can make them go. But anyway, it squishes the water out your legs, and then it also gets your communication. No, not that. Your circulation going so I'm circulated so that's that's nice and then she expects me to weigh myself and write it down she may not trust me I don't know she does trust me but I, and so I'm doing it though but it's amazing when every time I write down a number it's less than the time before it's not that I'm losing donut weight I'm just losing water weight so I need to lose some of the donut weight on top of that, and then we'd all be in good shape. See, this is looking pretty good, though. This is, oh yeah, this is her front. This is her back right here. These don't really ever get real neat looking. They just, because they just patchwork. They just patchwork, and um, they're just patchwork, and they're um, 
emotional support dollies. You wait till she's done. I'll show you her when she's done. She's going to be beautiful, more than beautiful than the day is long. But I'm, all, I'm only picking, see I got this whole box full of little tiny scraps. But I'm only picking like things that are like in the green, in the greenish, green, like green. And that's what I'm putting in here because she's going to be a gardening dolly. And then my friend Cordula, she had sent me some really pretty buttons. But in these buttons she sent me, there's like a little flower. See that flower? And then there's um, like, like a sunflower and a leaf. And so I have these kind of buttons that are very um, gardeny, so I'm going to be putting them on there too. And um, oh, you know what? Also, I had another email from some wig place they sell wigs <laughs> and they said would you want to collaborate that's the word i was looking for collaborate would you like to collaborate with us and um show our wigs and i and and she would send she said they'd send me wigs for free and i said hit yeah buddy if it's free it's for me I, now this here, you might think that this is my natural born hair. Well, no, it's not. It's fake. But I have decided I like fake stuff. And make believe and pretend. We can pretend. Remember when, when we were children? Well, you might not remember. I, well, when, well, maybe you didn't do like I did, but when, when we was children, we would play like play store and we'd make believe we had real groceries and the real customers and or we'd play doctor and we're not going to go into that though too deeply but um and we just pretend stuff and um well i can pretend i'm a movie star right here i don't know what kind of movie star would I wish I knew where my makeup bag was. I don't know where it is though. Because see how my age spots are showing? I'll just move my hair up there. There you go. Now it's all good. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where it is. You know what else I gotta do? I gotta, got this piece of fabric. It's gonna be a tablecloth. Jennifer got that for me at a yard sale. This whole thing, this whole piece of fabric she got for like 75 cents at a yard sale. She goes, can you do anything with that? I said, oh, we need a tablecloth for the 4th of July because we did, we decorate around here for anything that deserves decoration. So I won't do that tonight because my sewing machine makes too much noise and Papa's already back there in bed. Right now he's just reading, but later on he'll be trying to sleep. So I got that to do. Oh, I'm going to see how this here video. Uh, my computer that I was, it was given to me. Gaven. It was given to me by my friend, Samantha, before she decided to be Angel. And now she decided to be Angel. And I miss her. Oh, my God, do I miss her. But she had given me this here um just an old computer she had laying around and um she said it works and at the time I was having trouble with my laptop and so she gave it to me just for nothing but a hug and so that was awful nice of her because she was awful nice and um not awful awful nice would be a oxymoron they don't go together those two words but anyway well it finally it started giving me a little bit of a headache but it's been like three years or longer that I've been using it, so I can't complain. And so then, so I replaced it. I'm surprised I'm not divorced today because I replaced it with a, um, 
refurbished. All I had to buy was just the tower. I got the keyboard and the mouse and the screen and all that. So I just needed the tower. And so I bought a, a refurbished one. So even though it's refurbished, it's still, it's like new because they have to make them like new before they can sell them even for a refurbished. And the reason I thought maybe I'd be divorced is because I, um, I put it on Papa's credit card. And I told him after the fact. But you know what? He was okay with it. He said, does you deserve new things? And so I got it today. And then my son, my little son, Billy Brewski, he hooked it up for me. He hooked it right up, plugged it in and everything, even though he's sick and he can't talk. But that's the best time to do things with him is when he's got the well, laryngitis. Because then he can't yell. Oh, I love that kid so much. But he um, got some kind of a bug. But you know what happened, actually? And I told him. I told him. I said, you know why you got the laryngitis? It's because you yelled at your sister. You yelled at your sister the other night. The next day, what happened? You was sick. You was sick and you had the laryngitis. That's because God said, I'll fix him. He will not yell at his sister for a couple of days. I will give him the laryngitis. Well, I don't know if God actually works that way. In fact, I don't think he really does. But um, I told my son that anyway. And you know what? He gave me the eye. He gave me like the snake eyes. Like the snake eyes. Like that. You know, he just gave me that look. He couldn't yell at me. I was in good shape. I knew he couldn't yell at me, so I figured I could say anything I want. I could say anything I want, and he could not yell at me. Because he has the laryngitis. Sometimes when I get talking too loud, my voice goes away. Because I was sick first. I was first in that parade. But now I'm not sick anymore. Look at there. I used up all my thread. Now I'm I'm using a whole a whole the whole length. The whole this here embroidery floss comes in six strands. And um I'm using the whole thing. All six strands in here. Because it looks pretty. I want it to show. But anyway, so I got to put some more thread on the needle. And so that's what I have to say about that. Oh, that's right. I got a load of clothes in the washing machine. And um, oh, I got to go put them in the dryer because I need them before tonight. Well, I won't tell you what's in the washing machine because that's just too much information. I'll tell you. you know, I use these absorbent pads. Any of you have, any of you who are um, of an age that are um, like of an age and maybe have had an abundance of children for some odd reason, you might have the problem of the bladder dysfunction. And when you have the bladder dysfunction, then you... Um, you must use these absorbent pads. You can buy the ones that you can just throw away. But for one thing, they don't stay still underneath you. They get all wrinkled up and they don't do a bit of good. And, um, and so I have the ones that are, that are um, absorbent and washable. And you can use them over and over. And so anyway, I got them in the washing machine because... Before I do that leg squishing thing I was just rattling my lips about, I put, actually put three of them underneath me on my reclining chair. You could just figure it out why. Oh, I also have a little problem. See, here I am with all my problems. I also have a little problem with um, bladder 
um, whatever, whatever it is with your bladder, has a mind of its own. My bladder has a mind of its own. And so, when I put the leg squishers on and it gets rid of the water, that's all a good thing, but where does the water go? Into those absorbent pads. I'm old. I am old. If you're not old yet, and if you've had a half a dozen children, that's what you got to look forward to. Maybe not, though, because there's a lot, there's a lot of aged women that don't have the problem. But I do have the problem, which is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I kind of like it. I don't, really, <coughs> I don't really like it. But it gives me a reason to decline invitations to the yacht club meetings and to the country club meetings and to the have the you know those kind of things i say no i gotta stay home sorry i got some problems that keeps me right here at the home front and that's what i do i stay right to home and um that's my excuse i really don't like going places i just want to stay home it ain't nothing wrong with that either they ain't nothing wrong with wanting to stay home being home is where the heart is. That's where my heart is right now. Ouch. And so, oh, you know what? I just took off all my nails. <gasps> Wait a minute. Why is that black over there? Oh no, something's wrong. Oh, wait, oh, maybe Oh, there. Oh, I, something happened. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe it was just me. I think I touched my mouse and something went kaputski. And, um, but now there I am again. Okay, I'm, I'm all safe. I'm all safe. For now. But it is hurricane season down here in this great state of Florida. And there is some weather around in the Car Car Caribbean or Caribbean. I don't know which one is the right pronunciation. Some people say the Caribbean, and some people say the Caribbean. And so I don't know which one is correct. So I alternate between the two words. And, um, but there is some interesting weather out there. I don't really watch it. I don't watch the, I don't watch any of the news anymore. Because who wants to watch the news when you get done watching the news and everything is just all... I mean, it just tears your heart out to hear the news. So, and I used to just watch the weather, just the weather. Or sometimes I, when I was watching football, I would just um, see who won. Because I always, I don't care who's playing, I am going to root for the underdog. Always do. I root for the underdog. I want the underdog to win. And so that's, so I would watch the sports just to see the football scores you know although i don't understand football wasn't nary a bit i not near a bit i don't not near a bit do i understand football but i just want the the underdog to win but anyway oh i do the same thing in politics i'll just vote for the underdog give the underdogs we're not going to talk about politics because politics is not one of my favoritest subjects. Instead of sewing, you know. Actually, if they got a whole bunch of uh, crafters in the White House, they could sit around their sewing machines and they could solve every world problem there was. And then sell their quilts on the front lawn of the White House. And there would be no problem with money in the country. Well, that's all we're going to say about that. Okay. Now I'm going to continue on with my stitching. Because I still have a little ways to go on this patching. Patching her up. And, um... Yeah. I still got a little, little, little bit of ways to go. I wonder if I have to give you any more updates. My daughter... 
both of my two of my daughters were here yesterday Jennifer and Lori were here together and that was nice to see them here together and so but Jennifer is getting the last things done getting her things packed up at the rental now we're just calling it the rental she has been renting this nice house for tw 10 years but now the owner of the house decided he wants to sell the house so so she has to vacate the premises and so she's had a year to know about this so I don't know she waits for the last minute but she purchased a um, she purchased a like one of them camper trailer motor not a motorhome but a recreational vehicle I guess that's what you call it and nice it's really nice what she bought it it's a it's a used one it's not like brand new because you buy one of them things brand new you might as well just buy a mansion the price of those things but she's been redoing it anyway like changing walls and painting and wallpaper and I say Jennifer I hope this whole thing doesn't fall apart when you get done dismantling what you don't want in there. She's funny. But I think it's going to be nice because she's doing the whole, she wants the whole thing to be boho. You know, you know like the bohemian people, they've got like those little um, vagabond kind of little carriages that they fix up into a little pretty little house that's what she's doing with her mo mobile home well it's not i guess it's a mobile home it's a it's a travel trailer you know you can hook it up and move it to east dua diddy if you want to as long as you don't have to drive through any water you know east dua diddy and so anyway she's fixing that right up and it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute when she's done i have to admit I do tell her that I worry the whole thing's going to fall apart if she takes one more nail out of it. But, um, it is going to be kind of cute. It's got like a little pull-out section on it. Which is the kitchen part, which then makes it a little bit... And then you know what she bought for Jeffrey? I'm not kidding you here. She bought him a box. He's going to have to live in the box. Well, he's not going to live in the box. But the box is out there. Have you ever seen those, um, you know when they carry cargo on a ship? You know what? I've wondered about this ever since Aria mentioned to me. Why, when they send something by ship, they call it cargo. But if they sell, send something by car, it's a shipment. Aria mentioned that to me. That's food for thought. Why do they do that? Same thing like a driveway or a parkway. Parkway, you drive on it. Driveway, you park on it. I don't know. The English language is gone to poots. But anyhow, what was I saying? Oh, them big boxes, they just stack them up. They're like cargo bins. She bought him one of those. Well, he's in the process now of insulating it and putting walls on the inside because it's going to be a studio because he needs a studio because when he grows up all big and strong like his grandma, he wants to be a cartoonist, professional cartoonist. So he draws and he creates and he's been doing this like ever since he was knee high to a grasshopper. So I don't see him changing his mind at any time. And so that is going to be, but he has, he will, of course, he'll sleep and eat. Well, I don't know. He might sleep in his box. I don't know. But he thinks it's cool as a cucumber. I think it is. It's going to be nice. One day I might take a picture. I always say I'll take pictures. I don't take pictures of nothing. And anyway, that's going to be his, his studio. I'd like to have one myself. And you know what? When you buy them, you just buy them as a storm shelter. And they're called a storm shelter. And so you buy them. And then you it's like you don't have to have all these permits and stuff because it's a storm shelter. 
That's pretty doggone sneaky, isn't it? But, so we all have a nice storm shelter. Florida has storms. Florida has hurricanes. Hurricanes can blow the heck out of your lifestyle. Blow your lawn chairs to East New Aditi. I'm getting pretty close here. Oh, here. I got to go over here on this side. Okay, I got to get this thread moved over here. And so, anyway, um, let's see if I have anything else. So, right now, Jeffrey's at a... Oh, not right now. He'll go back tomorrow. He's got two more days. What is today? Today's Tuesday? Yeah. So, he's got three more days of this course he's taking over the summer. It's a two-week course. But it teaches him everything about um, doing resumes and stuff to introduce you, to help you to get along with in adulthood, things that you just got to do. And so he's been enjoying these classes. It's only a two-week course he's doing over the summer. And um, there's still some more courses like that he could take, I guess. And he may do them. And so, but that's nice. But I mean, he's learning how to do, he's learning how to do like, um, um, what do you call it when you have, when you go um, and talk to the boss to see if you can, if he'll give you a job, they call it a something. And that something where it is gone, it, list, it left me again. If you're new here, eh, you're gone. If you're new here, you're gone. So I don't have to talk to you now. But um, interviews. Teaches you how to do interviews. I guess that's why I never did get good jobs. Because I had never been taught how to do interviews. No, I had good jobs. I had really good jobs. And, um... Okay, I gotta get another piece here. Right here. Right here. Right here, chunder. Okay, now. Man, my... I come so close today to calling 911. Because I was... I got up early in the morning. It wasn't at daylight. And so then I went and I was sitting out in the yard... But I still had the light there to read by. And I was reading and I was writing my morning pages. Well, then after I was out there for a while, then then um, Aria and Kaya woke up. So Kaya came out with me for a while. And she was sitting there with me and she was telling me the ways of the world. And she was explaining things to me in her own three-year-old language. And I was listening patiently and listening and understanding almost every... Well, I understand two or three of her words. And um, and then she left and walked to the other side of the house. And after a couple minutes, I thought, well, I better go check on her. I better go check on that little wee when I haven't seen her. And so I got my little, because see, I got this little walker. It's got wheels on it and a little seat and everything. Really nice. It's sort of like a Harley Davidson in the walker. And um, so I couldn't see her. I couldn't see. She wasn't in the front yard. So I come back in the house. And I looked all over in the house. But then. And then like I checked the front door. Because I was out the back door. There's a back door, side door, front door. I checked the front door and the side door. Both of them were locked. So I knew she didn't get into either one of them doors. And she was missing. I couldn't find her. I looked all through the house and she was missing. And then I told Aria. I can't find your sister. And so Arya's looking all over, just in case you might have figured out how to get through that gate, you know, because we got two chain link gates, you know. And although they're fixed to where she can't hardly get through them, she's a pretty smart little character. And um, we thought, well, maybe. And oh, why did I just do that? I just threaded that needle and then unthreaded it. Okay, I'll thread it again. Um, because I just want to get one more stitch out of that. And so, then I come, I come back in the house. I said, we cannot find her. She is nowhere. I done knew somebody done reached over that five foot chain link fence and snatched her. And so then, I, because mom and dad weren't up yet. So I went to their, 
I went to their door and I opened the door and I said, you guys, I cannot find Kaya. We can't find her. And Mama says, she's in here with us. <sighs> My heart was, well, and I was happy, of course. Her. But see, what she must have done is she must have went in the side door when she went around the house and then locked it after her. And then that's how she got in. But I didn't go looking in there in their bedroom because, you know, it was still dark in there. I didn't, they weren't in, I just didn't figure she'd be in there. And, um, but when I did go to their room and said, we cannot find Kaya, I was like yelling and my heart was going like nine mile an hour. I thought she's lost. I didn't, I just, from the, I was ready to call and put out the Amber Alert or whatever on a missing three-year-old. Thank the good Lord she was okay. Oh, good night. I've been 35, 36 minutes. I used to run in my mouth. Well, I almost got her. I got to put another piece right here. That'll go here. And then I'll put another piece. Oh, I got to go like two or three pieces right here. Oh, she needs one here. And then she needs her hair. She needs her face. She needs buttons to be beautiful. And um, see her cute toes. I just love her. I love her. When I make these, I, in, I infuse love into them. I just remembered it's... Dang it. Yeah. Just a minute. It's time for Papa's medicine. I got him locked in here like a I got him locked, but this is like Fort Knox in here. And I um wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Oh there they are. See, I put them in these little things. Then I put, see, it's got secret code in there. Secret. Nobody can get into this here. There's his medicine. Because he'll be over here looking for it. Papa, here's your medicine. Okay. Oh, he was already on his way. Don't, don't look. Wait a minute. Okay, no, here. Look at there. There they are right there. Okay. You don't want to see him in them Speedos. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, so now he's got his medicine, and um, I'm in charge of that stuff. I'm the drug dealer. I'm the drug dealer here in this house. So anyhow, I think I'm going to, I don't think I have anything else of importance to say, but I just wanted to talk to y'all because I had talked to you in a couple of days, I don't think anyway. And so, so I'm going to continue to work on this, or maybe I'll work on the tablecloth. Or maybe, oh, I do, oh, you know, I told you I write, write the morning pages. Every morning I write three pages. There's my morning pages. And then, just yesterday, I started evening pages. So, I got three pages of evening pages. So, my morning pages are a brain dump in the morning and then my evening pages are going to be pages just for evenings so I'll, that's what I'll probably do is write in my my evening pages and um, you probably don't want yeah no, I don't want you over here in them speedos I don't want I don't share your body with everybody I don't share his body with I, I could probably take pictures of him in his speedos and put him on some channel and get a lot of people I, I, you know, you guys that have, you guys that have subscribed to my channel and you still are subscribed to my channel, you guys are super dogs, like Superman, Super Cat, Super Bunny. You could be super anything. You're super unicorns, is what you are, because I do like unicorns. Although now, you know what I'm gonna do? I just decided I'm gonna do my bathroom all up in plingo, plumbing. Flamingos. I'm going to do my bathroom all up in flamingos. And so, just for something different. Because, see, I can't decorate the whole house anymore. Because we kind of gave the house away. And, well, anyway. It, um, 
Billy and Bianca, they're in charge of decorating the house house. But see, we still have this bedroom here and our bathroom. And so I can decorate it however I want. And I want to do my, um, my, um, my bathroom in flamingos. But all of my flamingos are going to have a unicorn horn on them. So they're going to unicorn a flamingo. Flamingo corns. Because I'm going to add them on there. I'll just make little, like, little horns. So, so far all I have is my bag bag with unicorns on You don't know what a bag bag is, do you? Well, a bag bag is, you know when you save your grocery bags and you put them in the top of one of these bags and you, when you need one, you pull it out the bottom? Those are bag bags. Well, I got, actually, I got two of them in there because I use a lot of those little bags. When I dispose of, um trash yeah I put the trash in one of those bags and tie it up and then throw it in the trash can and so that's where I keep my bags and so I got a bag bag it's got flamingos on it and so since it's got all them flamingos on it I want to do everything in flamingos I want to flamingoize my whole bathroom but you know but it they're they're gonna be Flamingo corns. I'm going to add horns to them. I know I can do anything I want and just blame it all on senility now. Because at this stage of the game, you can do anything you want and you can blame it on senility. And if people don't like it, they can just lump it. They can make like a tree and leave. They don't need to be in my bathroom anyway. That's right. Just me and Papa. Uh, Papa's not too... He's not too hip on pink. Maybe I can find a blue uni a blue a blue flamingo. Maybe. If not, maybe we can invent them. Event invent a f blue flamingo. A purple purple flamingo would be nice. Okay, I'm gonna let you all go now because this is getting I'm getting on my nerve. I only have one nerve left, and I am getting on it. I'm getting on it. Okay, just a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta read you something, though, because I don't leave without reading. Because if I don't read, I might forget how to read. You know what I was telling you the other day? About somebody told me that these little dream catchers like this, you see that on her, on her necklace? That they were evil. I, I just can't wrap my head around anybody thinking that dream catchers are evil. How could that be? Nothing's evil if you don't want to think it's evil. I, and she loves her dream catcher necklace. I think it's very cute. Don't you? Her purple, her purple. Her name is Princess. She's a beanie baby. My daughter-in-law went over to the Good Willie store and she found a whole bag of beanie babies. There's at least 50 in there, if not more. And um, she got it for $5. $5. She bought them, which is a good thing because this one that's a purple bear named Princess needed to be in my house. So I took this one and then I took this one. This one's mine um, because my, um, I mean that might be evil too. If this, if you think that, that um, you're, um, what do you call them? When like my my oh jeez I was born on October 23rd so my sign or whatever you call it is a scorpion I'm a Scorpio I'm actually on the cusp because I could be sometimes they say my birthday is in the Scorpio and sometimes it's a Libra but I claim Scorpio and this here guy right there his name is Pincher. Is that his name, Pincher? Let me check. No, Stinger. His name is Stinger. And his birthday is September 29th. And so I took these two as, as my own. And I adopted them. 
and swore that I will take good care of them for the rest of their ever-loving lives. So they're mine. Not that I have space for these people, but I have space for these two. Oh, wait a minute. i got to show you. Wait a minute. Where to put it? Oh, remember when Jennifer brought in that doll that she put in the washing machine and her hair was all messed up? Hang on a second. Hang on. One second. I gotta put this on pause. Pause. There, I'm back. I had to put it on pause because otherwise you would have seen my butt when I stood up. Now see, here she is. I combed out her hair. I had to trim a little bit off. And then I got her this butterfly hair barret. And she's got a little braid right here. This braid was already there. So I didn't mess with that. But I got all this, I mean, her hair looked terrible. It looked terrible. And because my daughter put her in a washing machine. Uh, you just do not put children in the washing machine. I told her to never put your children in the washing machine ever again. But anyway, so, so, so far she hasn't taken her back. I'm probably going to get to keep her. Until she got little eyelashes and everything, but one thing I learned about Cabbage Patch Kids. Now she must be a knockoff because what I've learned. Now I got another one that's real. They say that you look at their little bum. This is their little bum. Now this is going to make this a re rated R, but you see how it's got that name signed on her right cheek in red that means that's not real if it's a real cabbage patch this name will be signed on her left cheek in green now pull up your pants oh, that, girl. that girl running around showing her tush now so she is a knockoff but do you love her any less no I don't love her any less. And look at, she's still smiling. And, and she's beautiful. She is so beautiful. And, um, and I love her. And, um, and knock off things. Now, for you guys that won't, you know, some people, you know, there's some of these real fancy Gucci purses or Chico purses or whatever they call them. And they're expensive. It's about $1,500, $2,000 for a pocketbook. Who in their right mind is going to pay that much money? There are a lot, a lot of people that pay that much money, but I'm just wondering about their mental health. You know, once they spend that much money on a pocketbook, and um, but you can buy what they call knockoffs, and they look just the same. And so, what are you going for? The looks? Like, who's going to stop you in the street and say, "Let me see that purse. I want to see the name tag on it. See if it's real." Of course, it's real. If you can see it, it's real. If it's not real, it would be gone. It would be out of your even imagination. And so some of us can't afford real, what people call real. Some of us can afford the generic brand. Even my prescription medicine, I buy it in a generic, the same stuff. So if you buy a generic, she's still a beautiful human child. This girl right here, I love her. You know what? I watched that girl, um, I watched that girl, um, what did I say her name was? Erin? And she's, hey, everybody, she's the one that does, she always makes a, um, she always says cheese. She goes like this. She goes, cheese. She does that so that she can have a thumbnail pic. She can find a thumbnail pic. Although I don't know how, although I think I might start learning how to edit I don't know how to edit right now. She edits and she finds a, a like a pretty picture. Cheese. That's how that she does. She does that every time. And then she finds herself a little thumbnail pic that way in to put on her real videos. I just let YouTube pick something and who knows they might pick me with this beautiful little lady. Oh, that's right, I was gonna read. Okay. You sit right there, sweet child. You are so pretty. Wait a minute, your britches come undone. Don't be walking around with your britches undone, sweet child. Okay, so now I'm going to um, pick a card, any card. This is messages from our ancestors, spirit. Spirit. 
I got to tell you about spirit too. I'm reading a book. I am getting so smart in this book. I'm not going to tell you and I'll save that for another day. Okay, wait a minute. I got to get a bookmarker. Or glasses. Glasses will help. Then we put these right here. Ooh, they're not very clean. Boy, I got to fix my hair. Is that okay? There we go. Now, you like this dress? This is not a team dress. Okay, never mind. Dearest you, miracles never run out. That is one of my books I just bought, A Course in Miracles. And I've been reading that, and I love it. Okay, never mind. Let me get started again. Miracles never run out. Look back over your life, and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities in and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and will never ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come. You will deliver them. I mean, or who will deliver them. When they will show up, you don't know. And what they will do for you, you don't know this stuff. All of that is our department. The ancestors that are sitting up there on cloud nine, or they might be sitting on the rings of Saturn, Jupiter. Oh man, which planet has the rings? Now I can't remember. Jupiter has the rings. Yeah, Jupiter. They sit up there on there and watch us. And what they will do. Okay, all of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra or mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If you only knew how much you were loved. <sighs> and see, and it even says sigh right there. See, that's part of the reading. So this is good to know. And when we get these messages from Spirit, they always have something very important that they want us to know. And um, and so we take them at their... We, we take them. We take them as real. Whatever you take and glue into your spirit is real. This fabric isn't real. It's just fabric because it's not glued into my spirit. It's sewed onto that doll, but it's not. Oh, we'll get into that conversation too. That's pretty deep right there. Okay, I ask God to watch over you and you and you. And I have just learned that I have some. I have one of, um, of one of my little people in my life. A, like a small human only 10 years old and lives in Georgia I have learned that she watches my videos I couldn't be more excited I just can't be more excited that to hear that she's watching my videos so I gotta be really careful to not say any bad words I don't say any bad words anyway I don't even think them Okay, I love every one of you that are watching, and even you guys that aren't watching, I love you guys too. And But now I'm going to hang up the phone because i got things to do, places to go, people to see. Well, that just sounded good. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and keep you safe and secure and healthy and happy and humble and everything good. We know you're already beautiful. So I don't have to pray for that because you are already beautiful because you were born beautiful and you're going to be beautiful and you're going to stay beautiful for your entire long life. Oh, we got one special prayer. We're going to pray for Adam. Adam is a co-worker of my son and Adam's son over the weekend took 
his own life. That breaks my heart. That breaks my heart to know. I don't know him, but it breaks my heart to know it. And so we're going to pray for Adam and Adam's whole entire family and friends for comfort. Okay, that's it for tonight. And I will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. God bless and keep you. Bye-bye. 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 Cheese. Wait a minute. I got to turn this. Who is that? That's Jeffrey. Yay, Jeffrey.